Angkor was the capital city of the Khmer Empire and flourished from approximately the 9th to 15th centuries. It was a mega city supporting at least 0.1% of the global population during 1010 to 1220. The temples of the Angkor area number over 1,000, ranging in scale from nondescript piles of brick rubble scattered through rice fields to Angkor Wat, said to be the world's largest single religious monument. Entry to Anchor starts at 37 US dollars for a one day pass and if you wait until 4.45 p.m. to buy your ticket for the next day, you can then go in straight away to watch the sunset at either Phnom Bakeng or Pre Rup, which you are seeing now. Since this is a long video, I have included timestamps in the description of the temples I've visited, so if you want to skip to a certain one then feel free to. I'd really appreciate it if you could give the video a like and share it with someone who may find it useful. Enjoy! Not too bad. Well, how are you getting on? Welcome to Angkor, the city of Angkor. I'm at Angkor Wat right now, it's about 5.30 a.m. Good morning from me and the thousands of tourists here to do the same thing, I guess. But uh, it's just ridiculous, there's so many of them all taking photos, etc. So I've just come over here and I started taking photos of them. But sure, look, we're going to explore the city of Angkor today, see what it's all about. Let's go. Imagine trying to climb up that thing. Definitely not for the elderly. Apparently there's some Hindu temple down here. Um, I downloaded all the map onto my phone last night. So I clicked onto it, it has 4.9 star rating of 50 uh, reviews or whatever. So heading down there for a quick look now. And I'm taking the road less traveled. I'm not going on the main one because sure I don't like following the crowd. Look. Not a soul around, but thousands of them that back that way, so that's how I like to roll. I don't particularly rate that Hindu temple. I don't think it was worth the 200, 300 meter walk from uh, Angkor Wat. But sure, look, we did it, we saw it. And when I was taking a photo of myself on my own on timer, this little dog appeared, so cute. So we took a little photo together. Seven a.m. now. That's me done with Anchor Watt. Um, I read online that you know you could spend a whole day there. No, you couldn't. No, just in my opinion, no way. That's an, about an hour and fifteen minutes, an hour and twenty minutes. I'm happy. I've seen everything. Um, I suppose if you're really, really, really into it, you go around like and just look at every little uh, little detail or whatever. But I'm very happy that I've seen enough. So I'm walking back out now, and I have an electric bike for the day. Most people get a tuk tuk. I got an electric bike, so that's how I'm gonna get around today, and uh, I recommend you rent one too. This is the motor. Cruise, baby, cruise! Water. Well, Mupper, what's the crack? Got a few monkeys here just chilling, having the crack. This guy's coming over for a look at me. They've got some strength, if I remember correctly, from Gibraltar, so I'm not going to stick around and let them grab all of my cameras, etc. Later, boss. 25 past 7. Just arrived at Anchor Thom now. Drinking my morning coffee. I packed a little breakfast this morning. I had the croissants, etc. while watching the sunrise. But um, yeah, I mean, it's 25 past 7. It actually doesn't open until 7.30, so perfect time to just chill out and enjoy a latte in a can.
This for me now is absolutely class. I prefer it to Anchor Watt so far. Just all these faces looking out, out at you. I've never seen anything like it. Class. I literally feel as if a big ball is going to come rolling behind me or something's going to shoot out of the wall, spears and spikes. This is just Tomb Raider-esque. Look at that. That's pretty freaky as well. And I'm all alone here. There's no one down this level. It's pretty cool. I'm glad that I got up and at it today. Right, just finishing up here at Anchor Tom. Um, my favourite so far, even though I've only been to two spots. I prefer it to Anchor Watt. And finishing up just in time because here comes an army of Chinese tourists. Ni hao, ni hao ma, wu hao. Hello, how are you? So about 100 metres down the road from the place with the faces is this place here. And I don't know, there's a big long walkway up to it in between some ponds on either side and some grass and some forestry. Looks really nice, let's check it out. A few steps there if you're looking. Going up to the top of this place. Maybe get some cool views, let's see. Nice views up here, if I'm honest. Delicious looking views, tasty views. I'm eating them up right now, loving it. Facebook Messenger. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you, you'd want to have your wits about you with that stairs because one slip and it's all over. Let's go to the next place. Don't fall. You're doing a very good job. Yeah. 10 minutes to 9, now approaching Fimanakis, at least that's how I think you pronounce it. Uh, the fatigue is starting to kick in already. I'm feeling quite tired. My stomach is rumbling, despite having eaten a sufficient amount, but I'm going to check out this place, then go to the Elephant Place, then the King's Place. Sorry, I don't know the specific names, but they're actually just beside where I am now, so that's handy at least. So unfortunately it's closed, you can't go up to the top, you can't really do anything other than look at it from here. Looks cool, but let's move on. Hello. 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 Taking a bit of a breather, enjoying a nice cold coke, trying to figure out what I'm going to do next. Uh, there's one place in particular I really want to visit, but there's no Wi-Fi here, no internet on my phone, uh, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to find it, but I really hope that I do because it looks so cool. So walking up towards Priya Khan uh, temple now, I must say I'm really just enjoying mopping around on the little electric scooter. I'm so delighted I did that because I absolutely much prefer doing things by myself, you know, on my own time. And you know, at that little restaurant I was just at, I sat down for probably 30 minutes, you know, mightn't have been able to do that if I was on a tour or if I was with other people or if I was with the tuk-tuk, so I love it. I love the electric scooter. Let's check this place out. Huh? Like that. You're better, you're better. Brum. 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 You. <laughs> bye bye. See you later.
Unfortunately, it seems as if a lot of this temple has crumbled. Just as well no one was here when it happened, or were they? I don't even know. I didn't even look up that fact. I didn't fact check. Diverting course a bit for a bit of a change. It's really, 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 really long. And it's like this big narrow corridor the whole way through. Pretty cool, got a bit of building going on here. It goes further back again. This is a cool one, I like this one. Okay, so on the way to the next destination, I'm a little bit worried about the scooter running out of juice. It's on two bars now, it's slowed down to 22 kilometers an hour, and it's, you know, I've already been going for about 10 minutes here, maybe even 15. I have another 10 minutes to go, and then to actually get to the place with another battery is gonna be probably 20, 20, 25 minutes. So I just, I'm praying now that this thing holds up and that the battery does the justice, you know? We've made it to Tassom. It's meant to be very nice, it's meant to be like a, a root temple, um, like one of the other ones, except less people at this one apparently, which, you know, it's very far away. So let's go inside and see what it's like. You paint all of them? Yes. How long does it take you to paint one? About 20 minutes already. Very good. Thanks. You've been doing it a long time? Yeah. Nice. Everyone's trying to sell me something here, including my friend over there. Say hi. She's a nice lady, but she's annoyed that I won't buy something. But, you know, I don't do souvenirs. I'm sorry. I just don't. We've ran out, but you know, these nice people helping me. Only, they're only gonna help me if I eat in their, sh in their restaurant, if I buy something. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I call to your... She's gonna call the company and they're gonna the hopefully come out and change the battery. I don't know what that's gonna cost, but sure, look, let's see. Hello. Here's the boss. Make me your egg. Oh, thank you. Thank you. This is your favorite? Mm -hmm. And you show me your favorite, which is your favorite? Fried rice with beef chicken, pork egg. Ooh. And the price is six dollar, but they're doing for four dollar because I I'm a negotiator. Great service here. Great service. They're trying to sell me things now. I thought we were friends, but now it's all about monetary value. But you take picture, one dollar for picture. One dollar for a picture? Yeah. How much for a video? Video? Uh, two dollars. Oh man. Two dollar. <laughs> Changing that battery up. So that worked well. I broke down just outside East Mebon where there happened to be a restaurant where they fed me, they called the people, my battery was changed. And now right across the road is our next location. Okay, possibly the last location of the day, Tafram it's called, um, maybe the pronunciation is correct. Um, it's where I think one of the latest Tomb Raider films was shot or some of the scenes were shot there. I haven't seen them. <laughs> it is overrun by tourists as a result, but let's see what it's like. Hopefully we can get some cool shots and enjoy it. The 
trees really have become one with the architecture in this place. It's mind blowing. There's like literally trees on top of the buildings growing and it doesn't look like nothing. It's n it looks like nothing, nothing. I, I'm lost for words. How does a tree grow out of a building? I'm so confused. And how does like a tree go th grow through a wall? Because there's no way they build through the walls. This is just obviously the result of hundreds and hundreds of years. Mother nature, something else sometimes. This place is spectacular. There's a lot of tourists around, but it is spectacular. It's definitely up there with one of my favorites today. Ah, sure, one more temple for the road, won't do us any harm. There's one on the way there, just pulled in. Talked to the guy, he said it's nice, so sure, look, we're going in now, let's have a look. Hello, sir. It's very good, but I'm sorry, I don't want it. We're doing so well with the rainy season and now look the heavens are opening up I'm out of here only 10 miles back to the place where I need to drop the bike off Jesus Christ my fucking cameras so as you can probably tell a bit of a abrupt and wet ending to the day it was about half 3 or 4 p.m. I headed back I dropped off the bike and that was me finished with Angkor Wat or should I say the city of Angkor absolutely exhausted anyway i really hope you enjoyed this video i put a lot of effort into it and uh, it's taken me quite a while to edit it while away but if you enjoyed the video please give it a like comment down below let me know what you thought and if you're new around here subscribe sure look it doesn't cost you anything anyway we'll see you real real soon in the next one good luck okay so inside anchor what now i've decided to Turn down a path that no one else has. And why is this camera blurring? This is pissing me off. This Canon G7X letting me down everywhere I go. Piece of shit.